Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Monica Juma is expected to appear before the Implementation Committee to give a status report of whether South Korea Ambassador Nomine Mwende Mwenzi has renounced her American citizenship. Our political affairs reporter Kenny Muraidi is on this story and he now joins us live with a report. Ken, good afternoon. And uh, this has been contentious right from the time she was being approved by Parliament. What is the latest? Well, good afternoon to you, Ken. And the latest is that that meeting between Parliament or the Committee on Implementation and Monica Juma, that is the ambassador in charge of uh, Foreign Affairs Ministry, has been moved to four o'clock this afternoon, as she had already written a letter to the clerk requesting that this meeting be pushed forward. Now, but <clears throat> already the committee members had arrived, and also members of the media had arrived. And a few minutes ago, we were able to capture it live on NTV, whereby the committee members were being a brief of that message that had been sent uh, by Monica Juma with regards to pushing that meeting. But one of the things that has come out of that meeting is that they do have pertinent questions with regards to what they would want Monica Juma to answer when uh, she appears before them. And this is on the matter of Mwende Mwenzi. Mwende Mwenzi was the ambassador nominee to South Korea that is in Seoul. But what we do know as of now is that Parliament has not been abriefed with regards to whether she renounced her American citizenship and this is the bone of contention just the day before yesterday in Parliament that is on Tuesday uh, the end the best members member of Parliament that is Robert Pukose rose immediately the speaker read the welcoming remarks and was of the opinion that he had some reports that she has not renounced her citizenship or if she has renounced that message has not been given to her and she had already attended training meetings where, and uh, as she was being prepared to take up the ambassadorial job and this is something that uh, the speaker ruled that this matter should be given to the uh, committee on implementation to see whether the conditional approval of Mwende Mwinzi had been effected. There is this committee on implementation that follows on all uh, all resolutions of the House and if it is indeed true that she has not renounced her American citizenship, then they will write a report to Parliament with the view of making sure that she does not assume office. On that particular day, there were issues that were being raised on the floor of the House by the, all the members who stood to speak against her nomination and they were all of the opinion that if indeed she's been given even an appointment letter, they will follow it through and make sure that it is rescinded and she comes back to the country. When she appeared before uh, the committee, that is the defense committee that vets all ambassadors, she said that if she was going to be approved by parliament, then she would rescind or she would uh, revoke her American citizenship to take up this job. According to the Constitution, an ambassador is a representative of the president and is also a, a, an ambassador is a state officer. So all these matters with regards to state officers and them holding dual citizenship is what was bringing uh, some kind of problem and it is what we will be knowing whether what are the questions that these members of the implementation committee will be having for Monica Juma. As they have also said, there are other matters that they would want to discuss with her. At four o'clock we'll be in that committee room where we'll be listening to what she will be saying and we'll be relaying this information to Kenyans in our subsequent bulletins. Back to you, Kenyan Studio. Right.